full siya pero hindi lagi. Kung titignan nyo, no? yung tatlong repair, isipin mo sa limang ATM na meron ka, tatlo na sira. Anong probability na mangyari yun? That is 0.03. And for the 4 and 5, sa limang meron kang ATM, ano ang probability na apat ay masira or lima ay masira? Sabi niya, zero. No, ayun yung sinasabi, guys, netong first column na yan. And katumbas niyan, yung ating first graph. Ito po, no? Probability na 1 ang breakdown in the system is 0.56. Na 1, ah, na 0 ang breakdown sa system. Ito naman, probability na merong 1 breakdown in the system, 0.282 and so on and so forth. Kung titignan nyo po, pagating ng 4 and 5, almost 0 na. Na 0. Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to our presentation regarding the queuing theory MM1 model with finite source application to the POM QM software or the POMCOM software. And I'm glad to tell you guys that this is our last presentation under the topic queuing theory. Okay, after po nito, our last topic na for the whole OR2 will be the Markov analysis. Okay, so let's start our discussion regarding the application of the model number 4 of the queuing theory, MM1 with finite source in the POMQM software. So model number 4, MM1 with finite source. MM1 notation represents for the arrival distribution, guys, we have here the Poisson distribution, letter M. The second M stands for the service time distribution, which is exponential. For the number of service channels open, we have here one. And an additional assumption is that the population size is finite. No, ah, we have specific number lang ng population na pweding magpabalik-balik sa ating server. Okay, so that is the condition for the model number four. And let's have here our example problem. So City Bank number seven na ito na magkakadugtong po kasi yung mga problems natin for the queuing theory. So we have here Angie, the branch manager of City Bank, and she wants to improve the service of the bank's five existing ATMs. This is the reason, guys, why we have this finite population. Dahil lang population po natin dito is yung bilang ng ATM. No, hindi mismo client, hindi mismo tao. But rather, yung bilang ng ATM na i-repair ng technician if ever na masira yun. Okay, that is the finite population 5. And she observed that on the average, an ATM breaks down every 100 hours and takes 10 hours to repair by the bank's loan technician. The figures are summarized in the next slide. What is the breakdown rate of an ATM? What is the service rate of the technician? What is the probability that there are no repairs going on? How many ATMs are at the technician's schedule at any given time? How much time does an ATM spend waiting to be repaired? How much time does an ATM spend at the technician's schedule? What is the effective breakdown rate? And lastly, what is the probability that the technician is BC. So we have a lot of questions here that needs to be answered. So let's start our solution. For the given data, you know it is all stated naman sa problem and nilagay ko lang ito in table form. So for the letter M, that is the number of technicians that we have. That is one. No, iting M M one yung one sa dulo dahil kung maalala niyo, no, it is also represented as small letter M yung number of servers. But since specific tayo sa one, so M M one nasa. Just like and ja, unlike the model number two, na MMM, dahil pwede natin gawin yon na two servers, three servers, four servers, and etc. Okay, anyway, the number of servers is still represented by the small letter M. Okay, so letter N, big letter N is the number of ATMs, or this is the population size, which is five. For the letter X, this is hours of use per breakdown, which is one hundred. Ibig sabihin po, no, 100 hours mong ginagamit si ATM doon sa bank before siya masira, before siya magkaroon ng breakdown on the average ito. And the last given, we have the letter Y, which is the repair hours per breakdown. Gaano katagal na repair ang isang ATM once na masira siya? Answer is 10 hours. Okay, now, for us to be able to have 
the uh, actually answer na ito eh no answer na ito ng ating manual computation and let's try to find out if same ba tayo na mga kuha if we're going to use the PUMQM software so here's the answer breakdowns per hour is 0.01 ATMs repaired per hour is 0.1 this is the divide lang naman ito no sa 0.100 and the 0.10 natin probability that the that there's no repair is 0.56 Four, average ATM waiting for repair 0.2, number of ATMs in the whole system including the server which is yung server natin po dito is yung moment na nagre-repair si technician no kasi ang nagbibigay ng service is si technician not the ATM no wag kayo madilita doon then ganyan talaga sa queuing systems minsan yung client nagiging server minsan si server nagiging client okay so that is Average, a number of ATMs in the system, 0.6. Average waiting hours per ATM is 4.6789. Average hours ATM spends in the whole system is 4.6789. Effective breakdown rate is 0.4. Probability that the technician is busy is 0.46. Now, with regards to the costing, we have here the given cost. We have $5 per hour service cost per technician. This is the labor cost of the technician per hour, no? Uh, represented by C sub S. C sub W naman is the cost of downtime, which is $60 per hour. Ito yung cost kapag may nasisirang ATM. Kada oras na lumilipas, ano yung nawawala sa kumpanya, no? $60 yun dahil lang sa ATM na sira. Okay. And the working hours per shift is $8. Now, as you can see, guys, based on our manual computation before on the previous Uh, presentation on the previous topic, we have computed there that the total cost is 43.4 per hour and that is uh, connected with the total cost per shift which is 347.2. Ten times 8 lang naman yan. Okay? Uh, for now, let's go to our POMCOM software. Let's in uh, let's try to input all of this data and check natin if magiging pareho ba yung sagot natin and of course may mga additional knowledge din tayong makukuha using the software because on the software binibigay niya yung graph ng queuing system natin okay so let's go to our POMQM software now <music> Okay, we are now here on our POMQM software. And tulad ng mga dati nating nakagawian, no, first step po is to set our module into the waiting line. So, click module, then waiting lines. Then, nakaset na siya. No? Let's have here file, then new. Now, upon checking here, guys, we have MM1 exponential service times. Don't click this, dahil this is our model number one. We also have here MM1 with a finite system size. Hindi rin po ayan yun, dahil ang pipiliin natin is the MM1 with a finite population. System size po kasi is fin and finite population is two different queuing system. Now, itong MM1 number six, when MM1 with a finite system size is ito yung mga queuing system na meron tayong capacity sa loob. Hanggang ilan lang ba yung kayang ilagay na clients or servers sa loob ng system natin? And unfortunately, hindi siya part ng curriculum ng undergrad, no, itong, itong number 6. Ito po ang pipiliin natin with a finite population. So ano naman itong number 7 and number 9? The MMS with a finite system size. Ito naman po, yung may finite system size ka, pero yung server mo, it can be 2, it can be 3, it can be 4, it can be 5, and so on. Same with this one. No, yung server mo, for the MMS with a finite population, can be 2, can be 3, can be 4, can be 5, and so on. Pero yung population, yung calling population na pwedeng iserve niya is finite lang. No, exact discrete number siya. Exacto. Okay? So again, let's use this. MM1 with a finite population. Okay? So click up and clicking. Let's write here our title. So this is Citibank. 7 and 8. Okay, then let's use cost. Then, okay. Okay, so upon clicking the solve button, we are prompted here to have the arrival rate per customer. 
Now, as you can see, let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation. Itong mga given natin. No? Arrival rate per customer. Actually, wala siya eh. No, walang arrival rate per customer. Ang meron po tayo is the repair hours per breakdown. Itong 10. And hours of use per breakdown. No, yung hours of use per breakdown and yung isa na binigay. Ano kaya dito? Actually, na-compute natin yan sa ating manual computation. That is number one and number two. Kung titignan nyo kasi, ang binihingi ni software, gaano karami yung dumarating na client? Gaano karami yung dumarating na ATM no, per hour or per hour? Yung, yung dating nila, arrival. Nasaan po dito yun? Is it number one or number two? Basahin natin. Ang number one is compute the average number of breakdowns per hour. So, 0.01. Gaano karami yung nasisira? Okay? Diyan muna tayo. Number 2. Compute the average number of ATMs repaired per hour. Gaano karami yung nagagawa? Therefore, no, ang kukuhanin po natin na values is 0.01. Dahil yung bilang ng nasisira is equivalent to bilang ng nag-a-arrive kay technician. Kung gaano man karami yung nasisira per oras, ayun din yung katumbas na bilang na dumarating kay technician dahil kapag nasira, malamang gagaayusin na technician. Diba? And hindi natin gagamitin yung 100 doon dahil napakarami nun. Kasi nga po, ang, ang calling population natin is only 5. That's why we will going to divide it from 1. So 1 divided by 100, that is 0 0.01. And that will serve as our arrival rate per customer. 0 0.01. Okay? Guys, don't get confused. Ganyan talaga ang... Tawag dito, ganyan talaga sa model number 4. And as you can see, 0 0.01, ayan, pangatlong best ko na siya itatype, nagsisiro siya, nag-automatic. Dahil almost zero na rin kasi yung ano niya eh, yung value niya. No, so for the service rate naman tayo, our service rate now is of course ito. Kasi sabi niya, no, this is the average number of ATMs repaired per hour. Ganito karami yung ATM na na-repair ng technician, 0 0.1. Kada oras. Kasi nga, matagal gawin. Therefore, no, maghihintay pa siya ng sampung oras para ma-repair lang yung isang uh, ATM. Ito yung denominator na yan. Pero since, ang inihingi nga ni software is yung number of ATMs repaired per hour, which is dito, ang term na ginamit is yung service rate. No, ang gagamitin po natin will be this one. 0 0.1. Okay? So, lagay natin dito. 0 0.1. Next. Number of server. So, we have one. Automatic yan. Nakalagay na siya dahil ang pinili po natin na model is MM1. Okay? So, population size, we have here five. For the server cost and waiting cost, balik tayo sa PowerPoint. Ano yung binigay na server and waiting cost? Here, we have five service cost per technician and the cost of downtime or ito yung waiting cost kapag nasisira ang ATM no, kano ang katumbas kada oras na nawawala sa kumpanya. That is... 60. So, let's write there 5 and 60. So, 5 and 60. Then, click solve. Okay? So, upon clicking solve, guys, we have here our final answers. As you can see, yo, ayan, no? uh, average server utilization. Itong average server utilization, this is equivalent to the probability that the technician is busy. Gaano mo na utilize si server? Again, ano po yung server natin? Si technician. Kasi siya yung nagbibigay ng service kanino sa mga ATM. That is 0 0.44. If you will check, ito siya. Oh, ayan, patama naman. Pato tayo, 0 0.436. Naka 3 decimal kasi dito. Next, uh, LQ 0 0.2. Nasaan ang L, L sub Q natin? Ayun, 0 0.2. Tama naman. LS or again, this is equivalent to L lang dahil whole system mo yan. 0 0.64. Nasaan po siya? Ayun, 0 0.64. W sub Q, 4.67. Ayun, 4.67. W sub S, 14.67. Ayun. And of course, effective driver rate, 0 0.04. Ito, tama naman, etc. Na pareho na po yan hanggang sa costing. Uh, 43.37, costing na nahanap natin. Now, 
Bukod kasi dito, guys, this is just for checking if you if your manual computation is correct. No, ayun talaga yung reason niya. And of course, kung alam niyo na i-manual, kung gusto niyo medyo advanced na kayo, diretso niyo ng pomcom. Then more on analyzation na lang yung gagawin niyo dito. Ah, ganito pa lang LQ, ganito yung LS niya, ito yung WQ, ito yung WS. And anong gagawin ko? What is my decision given the fact na ito na yung mga numbers? No, so what I'm trying to say is kung paano niyo magagamit ng efficiency pump ko without having the manual computation and that is the goal din naman talaga ng mga softwares. Uh, anyway, no, bukod diyan, meron pa tayong mga result dito, si table of probabilities. So itong table of probabilities, ito po kung titingnan niyo dito, we have here uh, K0, K1, K2, K3, K4, K5. Ano po ito? No, ito, guys, yung na numbers na pwede tayong pwedeng magkaroon ng breakdown. Bakit, bakit, bakit hanggang 5 lang? Dahil nga, ang population natin is only hanggang 5 lang din. No, finite population tayo. Ano daw yung probability na ka na zero ang magiging breakdown natin. Gaano kataka? Sabi niya dito, 0.56. Nasaan po 'yun? Probability that there is no repair P sub 0. 0.56. Ibig sabihin tama tayo. No, ayun siya. And ano daw yung probability na meron tayong isang repair? 0.28. Hindi natin to solve sa manual, no, hindi natin siya sinol. Pero ayun yung katumbas niya. Ano naman yung probability na dalawa yung repair. 0.11. Kung titingnan ninyo, paliit ng paliit yung probabilities. Kapag dumarami ng dumarami yung uh, repair. Dahil bihira naman kasi ng mangyari yun. No? Impossible siya, pero hindi lagi. Kung titingnan nyo, no? yung tatlong repair, isipin mo sa limang ATM na meron ka, tatlo na sira. Anong probability na mangyari yun? That is 0.03. And for the 4 and 5, sa limang meron kang ATM, ano ang probability na apat ay masira or lima ay masira, sabi niya, zero. No, ayun yung sinasabi, guys, netong first column na yan. And katumbas niyan, yung ating first graph. Ito po, no? Probability na one ang breakdown in the system is 0.56. Na one, ah, na zero ang breakdown sa system. Ito naman, probability na meron one breakdown in the system, 0.282 and so on and so forth. Kung titignan nyo po, pagdating ng 4 and 5, almost zero na. Na zero na talaga siya. Ayun yung sinasabi ng ating first column. For the second column, ito naman, yung probability na yung number in the system is less than or equals to k. Since ang k natin sa ating first row is zero, therefore, at ito ko niya is yung negative 1, negative 2, less than eh, no? Negative 3. And there's no such thing as negative number of ATM. Na naman ganun. It's, it is either zero, walang breakdown, or may isang sira, may dalawang sira, pero walang negative na sira. Kaya kung titingnan nyo po, pareho na 0.56 yung probabilities na meron tayo dito. And, i-minus mo siya sa 1, ayun naman yung binabanggit nitong third, or rather, ng fourth column natin, which is the probability that the number in system is greater than the k, which is ang k natin is 0. Ganun din yung interpretation dito. Na check natin, number 2 tayo, laktawa natin number 1. Ano daw yung probability na yung number in the system is less than or equals to k? Ano yung k2? Ano yung uh, number in the system? Of course, 1 and 0. Gaano kalaki yung probability na magkaroon tayo ng sira na 0 and 1? Again po, this is Poisson distribution. No? Uh, 0.96 ang sagot doon. And para mag-total siya ng 1, katumbas niya naman itong 0.04. Okay? For 3, 4, and 5, 1, 1, 1 dito, 0, 0, 0 dito. Dahil 1 plus 0 is equals to 1. Okay? Ibig pong sabihin, from K3 up to K5, ang probability na yung number in the system is less than or equals to K, again, ang K natin is 3, 4, 5, is 100%. So, may 100% chance na ang maging sira natin is 2, 1, or 0. Okay, pero may may maliit na probability na mangyari is tatlo ang sira, pero sobrang liit ng no? 0.03 lang. Wala nang probability na masira ang apat ng sabay-sabay and of course yung lima. Ayan yung katumbas ng second graph natin. Itong cumulative probabilities, titignan nyo pataas dahil nga cumulative po ito. Kung ano yung binanggit na probability dito, 0.56 4, ayan yung umpisa dito. Then kung ano yung probability niya dito, 
0.564 plus 0.282, i-add mo yan, that will be the probability dito, na 1 in the system, 0.8459. Then, 0.8459, i-add mo naman tong 0.1128, ito naman po yan, 9587, and so on and so forth. That's why tinawag siyang cumulative. Pero ang basis niyan is ito pa rin, yung graph pa rin na to. Okay? Now, yung baliktad niyan, yung para mapuno yung 100, yung mga spaces dito sa mga bars na yan, that is the, the cumulative probabilities. Ito po siya. Kaya kung titingnan ninyo, pababa. Dahil we are having here the cumulation. Uh, the cumulative kasi siya. The cumulative probabilities. And ganoon lang naman guys si analyze si queuing system, si queuing theory for the fourth model ng ating queuing theory. No? MM1 with finite population. Okay? So that ends our discussion guys regarding the fourth model of our queuing theory topic which is the MM1 with finite source and its application on the POM QM software. I hope you learned something from this presentation and I'm really hoping also na na-appreciate ninyo yung subject at this time. No, dahil patapos na po tayo, last topic natin will be all about the Markov theory or Markov analysis. Okay? So, keep safe always. Thank you for being with me sa presentation na to. No, keep safe always. May you enjoy the rest of the day. And of course, enjoy the rest of the week. Good luck on your journey, guys. Thank you again. Bye-bye.